In a world where diesel engines roar with raw power, two legendary beasts have etched their names into American trucking history, the Detroit Diesel 12V71 and the Detroit 8V92. But beneath the unmistakable growl of these two-stroke titans lies a story of evolution, engineering, and a rivalry you probably didn't know existed. So, here's the question. Why are the Detroit 12V71 and the 8V92 so radically different, despite coming from the same diesel dynasty? Stick around because what you're about to hear might just change how you think about engine design forever. Let's start with a throwback. Think 1960s. The Vietnam War is raging. Muscle cars are dominating the roads. And the Detroit Diesel 12V71 is already earning its place in the heavy-duty world. Nicknamed the Buzzin' Dozen, this 12-cylinder engine delivered brute force. With its 71 cubic inches per cylinder, the 12V71 was built not for finesse, but for sheer torque and unrelenting durability. This thing powered everything from buses and fire trucks to military equipment and massive industrial machines. But here's a wild thought. The 12V71 wasn't exactly designed for fuel efficiency or noise control. If you've ever heard one, you know it doesn't whisper. It screams. Now, fast forward to the late 70s and early 80s. Fuel economy is no longer optional. Emissions regulations start showing up to the party, and suddenly, the old-school 71 series looks like a dinosaur in a world that's rapidly evolving. Enter the 8V92. At first glance, the 8V92 might seem like just a scaled-down version of the 12V71, but that's where people get it wrong. It's not a sibling. It's a whole new species. So what makes them so different? Here's where it gets interesting. The 8V92 belongs to the 92 series, a line of engines born out of necessity. Instead of 71 cubic inches per cylinder like its predecessor, each cylinder in the 92 series packs 92 cubic inches. That's a 30% increase in displacement per cylinder. More displacement equals more power, right? Well, sort of. It also means more heat, more complexity, and a much tighter balancing act when it comes to cooling and emissions. Oh, and here's a fun twist. Despite having fewer cylinders, the 8V92 could outperform the 12V71 in certain applications. Think lighter weight, better torque curves, and improved adaptability for highway use. It was like the 12V71's leaner, more athletic cousin who shows up at Thanksgiving and casually wins the family arm wrestling match. But before you start thinking the 8V92 was a perfect upgrade, hold that thought. While it did offer improvements, the 8V92 wasn't without its challenges. It had a reputation for being finicky, overheated, and you'd be looking at expensive repairs, and maintaining it, not for the faint of heart. Mechanics who loved the 71 series for its simplicity sometimes found themselves saying, I miss the old days. Which begs the question, was newer actually better? Here's the cliffhanger. Despite all the innovation in the 92 series, Detroit Diesel eventually had to abandon both lines as four-stroke engines took over the market. But why? Why did two-stroke legends like the 12V71 and 8V92 fade into the shadows when they once ruled America's roads? We're getting to that in just a minute, but first, here's something to chew on. Both engines used root-style blowers, but the way they were tuned, balanced, and maintained? Totally different philosophies. The 12V71 was rugged and forgiving. The 8V92? Demanding but more precise. It's like comparing a Harley-Davidson to a Ducati. Both roar, but they ride worlds apart. So what's the bottom line? The 12V71 was the product of post-war engineering. Reliable, loud, and unstoppable. The 8V92 was Detroit's attempt to meet a new era's demands. More power per pound, better efficiency, and tighter emission controls. They were built for different roads, different rules, and ultimately, different legacies.